Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Colson Smith's Coronation Street co-star Jack P. Shepard appears to have a hidden side as a swinger. During a recent episode of their famous podcast Sofa Cinema Club, Colson and co-stars Ben Price and Jack tackled a TikTok-related dispute. While Ben Price made a remark, Jack's reaction drew eyebrows. During the conversation, Colson labeled Jack a swinger. This shocking revelation has left Corey fans fascinated. Scroll down to get the entire scoop. Coronation Street star Colson Smith labels co-star swinger. Coronation Street stars Jack P. Shepard, Ben Price, and Colson Smith host the popular podcast Sofa Cinema Club. Corey fans recognize the actors as David Platt, Nick Tilsley, and Craig Tinker, respectively. However, we can tell you that their podcast is killing it, with an average of less than 48 hours of sold-out episodes. The podcast is solely about film talks. In a recent episode, the Coronation Street cast addressed pineapples and their significance in the UK. According to sources, the pineapple was considered a symbol of riches in the 1550s. This is because the fruit was purchased from the Caribbean Sea. Later, Colson changed the discussion to a TikTok debate in which it was said that pineapple is also a sign for swinging. He then informed his Coronation Street co-stars that last week's mystery was about pineapples. Did you know what having lots of pineapples around the house is meant to mean? The Craig Tinker actor inquired. In response to his question, Coronation Street star Ben explained that it meant changing or swapping relationships. Jack abruptly yelled, no, it's a load of asterisk asterisk. It's a sign of riches, which is a load of B asterisk 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 asterisk. Do not listen to it. Colson responded, that's exactly what a swinger would say. What are your thoughts on this revelation? Please share your ideas below. For more Coronation Street spoilers and information, visit TV Season and Spoilers. Adam Barlow is facing a crossroads next week. Coronation Street spoilers suggest he is divided between morality and a passionate desire to smash Damon and Hay. In the following week, he will sketch a dying cancer patient in a murder case. However, he is drowning in the remorse of his evil deeds. Adam will face difficult waters as the distinction between good and wrong blurs. However, his decisions could have far-reaching effects in the future. Will this step result in more than he bargained for? Read on for more. Coronation Street Spoilers Adam will draw up a terminally ill patient for murder. According to the latest Coronation Street Spoilers, Adam Barlow's impatience in getting rid of Damon Hay will lead him to make a devastating decision. He is torn between upholding his ideals and assisting Harvey Gaskell in escaping from prison. Previously, we saw Adam and Harvey forge an unholy pact to get revenge at Damon. Will Adam have to pay for it in the end? Last week, Adam paid a visit to Damon's half-brother Harvey in jail, promising to fight his sentence in exchange for Damon's destruction. However, according to this week's Coronation Street spoilers, they will learn that the only way out is to blame Natasha Blateman's murder on someone else. Soon after, Harvey informs us that a man named John Perry is willing to confess to the murder. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Adam visits the man at Weatherfield General Hospital and discovers something shocking. Initially, he thought John is a working professional there, but it turns out he is a terminally ill cancer patient receiving treatment. Adam's morality conflicts with Harvey's evil plan. As Adam starts a conversation, John explains that he feels driven to do it for the sake of his family. He is facing unemployment owing to his criminal past, and this plan will at least help his loved ones. According to Coronation Street spoilers, Adam questions Harvey on the phone about whether the plan is a good one. However, the adversary reminds him that he lacks the authority to decide. Following a disparaging remark about Paul at the pub, Adam uses on his own family and the danger of losing Billy and Summer. Later, in a taxi with John, Adam describes the statement preparation process to him. While Adam says they'll go to the police the next day, the cancer sufferer asks an unexpected inquiry. According to Coronation Street spoilers, he asks Adam why he's doing this, to which Adam responds with a single word, family. But is it truly worthwhile? We all know Sarah is looking forward to her happily ever after with Damon right now. So what is the goal of this plan? Furthermore, how likely are they to succeed? 
What if the scheme backfires on Adam? Let's see what in occurs meantime, in the upcoming Stay tuned episode. to TV season and spoilers for more Coronation Street spoilers and news. Sammy Alongchamban of Coronation Street has applauded her co-star Charlie Renshaw for the current bullying plot. In recent episodes of the long-running ITV soap, a heartbreaking storyline has unfolded for Liam Connor, Renshaw, as a result of a bullying incident. Liam's mental health will plummet in the coming scenes as a result of months of abuse from ringleader Mason Radcliffe, and he may even consider suicide. Long Chambin, who plays Liam's mother Maria, paid tribute to her on-screen son in interviews with Digital Spy and other media outlets. It's really emotional, she said, and Charlie has been simply fantastic. He's only 14, and it's amazing because he's been playing Liam since he was three. So we have a very tight relationship. I've known him for most of his life, which makes those sequences both easier and more difficult because we have an emotional connection. And it's difficult since my kid is 14, the same age as Charlie, and I also have a son, and to think that either of them or any child in the country might go through something like that, and you read about it on the news, when kids have taken their own lives as a result of bullying, is a reality. Lon Chambon went on to say, and as a father, it's dreadful. It's not a pleasant thought, and having to act it out and go through it, your body has no idea that we're making ourselves cry, and it's taxing. Because your body is unaware that the situation you are crying about is not real. So Charlie and I have had days where we've spent the entire day crying to each other. We are fatigued by the end of the day. But you know, it's good to think that hopefully, this storyline might help other kids who are going through it, and even the bullies to a certain extent, I hope that it might make them think twice about what they're doing to other kids, and how it might affect them in ways that they don't realize. Following a tense meeting with a mysterious woman, Corey has intimated that Joel Deering is keeping a secret. In tonight's, February 9, episode, Joel acted suspiciously following a disagreement with Emily in the bistro. Joel went to see his girlfriend Dee Dee for a quick lunch date, but she declined since she was snowed under with cases. After learning that she had forgotten about a potential customer appointment later that day, Joel offered to step in and save the day by meeting the client while Dee Dee continued with her work. Joel met with the woman at the bistro to discuss her case. However, their appointment was disrupted when Emily stormed in and refused to go, delaying his meeting with the customer. I told you I would sort this out, and I will. Joel told her, seeking to redirect the subject away from the bistro, but Emily refused to go. Fine, but let's go somewhere more private, he said, as Toya watched from the background. Later, Joel lied about the meeting to Dee Dee, informing her that the client's case was a waste of time. However, Dee Dee was soon left with more than just work on her mind after revealing to Joel that she loved him throughout the conversation, that Joel would abandon their relationship because she expressed her feelings. Fortunately, the couple was able to clear the air over their previous miscommunication at the bistro, with Joel admitting that he was also falling in love with her. Joel was unable to enjoy his evening due to Emily's incessant barrage of calls and messages. Making excuses, Joel cut their evening plans short before calling Emily and urging her to back off. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.